Hey everyone, I'm Haley and welcome back to my channel. With the holidays approaching, I thought Rowan and I would do a fun holiday video. And as you can see behind us, it doesn't look very festive in here, so we're back. So in today's video, we're actually going to be making a gingerbread house for the horses. Okay, so we have all of the things that we're gonna need today. I don't know. <laughs> it's a pizza cutter. <laughs> so I hope you guys like today's video and let's get started. Okay, so we don't actually have measuring cups because we're always very professional. But we're gonna do the dry ingredients first, which is three cups of flour. One, two, three. Okay, next up we got ground cinnamon. Uh, it should be one teaspoon what I'm measuring may or may not be one <laughs> teaspoon. Okay, next is half ground ginger because obviously it's gingerbread. Boom! Haley said you had to use the automated one, but that's weak. <laughs> so now that the dry ingredients are all mixed up, I'm going to mix the wet ingredients. So the wet ingredients are coconut oil, molasses, and water. So before I go any farther in this recipe, I actually have to give like 100% credit to Gone to the Snow Dogs on YouTube because this is actually where I'm getting the recipe from. Her recipe is actually for dogs, but I researched all of the ingredients and it's totally fine for horses. You can actually eat this gingerbread too, but it's probably not gonna taste very good because it's going to have basically no sugar and it's gonna pretty much be like a gingerbread cracker. So, uh, but the horses will like it. So continuing with our very professional measuring cups, there is half a cup of coconut oil, three fourths of a cup of water, and half a cup of molasses. And now we're going to just mix it all up. Brona, do you want to mix it? Yes. She's flying. Oh, this is nice. It looks so gooey. Hmm. Yum. So I have these little cardboard stencils that I made that we're going to use to turn it into a house. <laughs> oh. Probably should like smoosh it a little bit with my hands first. It doesn't want to roll. Now that we're done cutting all the pieces out, I'm going to take this up to my parents' house and we're going to bake it at 325 for 15 to like 25 minutes. So the pieces are all baked now and they're pretty cool because I actually put them outside. And we are going to use some boxes and stuff to hold the shape of the gingerbread together. Made some icing, hopefully it works. What's that? <laughs> I put it on the wrong <laughs> side. I wonder how it tastes after it's baked. It's probably not, it's probably still gross. Mm. Oh, shit. This is a disaster. We may end up just having to like give the horses cookies. <laughs> Ooh, the roof's too small. Okay, look, I don't really know how you thought it would work if this is gonna be more than that, you know what I mean? But like... <laughs> <laughs> so... I give up. It's not working. No. Okay, so, change of plans. Okay, so we got some special moments. So these are basically just some apple treats. These are basically the only treats that Ophelia will actually eat because she is such a picky eater. Mm. And this like, looks too much like dog food, but I want to try it. Go for it. Uh, 
everything just, it always just tastes like like wheat wheat or something. <laughs> like it's like nibble a bit off the side. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's basically just tastes like sugar. Yeah. Like sugary bread. So we're pretty much, since uh, the gingerbread house didn't work, uh, we're going to pretty much just use this and icing and we're going to make little gingerbread cookies for the horses. So I have this rocking horse cookie cutter and the cookies are still a little soft because I didn't leave them in the oven as long as I could have because it's currently 8.30 at night. I'm gonna attempt to... Late night horse cookies. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. Oh, it worked. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna try out some of these. I have diced up a bit of a horse treat as like sp sprinkle thing. You know. What? I need sprinkles. Oh. Oh. So, so, so fresh. You know what uh, we could have probably done? Oh, we probably fresh. could have cut the sides down to make it fit. Oh. <laughs> Ha! It's too late. <laughs> this blob is extra wet. Ooh, that's super cute. <laughs> oh, the icing is running off. And I feel like other people that want to make this could definitely use like whatever. Do it better. Yes. <laughs> if yeah. you do this, First do it all, better. Do it better. But also like any grain that you use for your horse, you could yeah, totally, totally stick into the thing. icing. So we're gonna put the cookies outside for. Oh, Excuse me? Well, it didn't work to make them into a gingerbread house this year, but maybe next year we can give it a round two. We'll refine our skills. So. Yes. So we're going to put these outside so that the icing can harden a little bit. And then we're going to go and give them to some of the ponies. This is Libby. She's one of my lesser picky eaters. So let's see what she thinks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she literally took this much off. Oh my gosh, she looks so funny. Savannah wants some. That's. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I don't think she likes it. <laughs> She's like trying. She's. Oh, I don't think she likes it. What about one of the ones that has peppermint on it? She might grab that treat. Oh yeah, come on, Libby. Oh. Oh. She's really thinking about it. Not a fan, are you? I think there's a lot of different flavors going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Savannah looks very eager. We'll give you one of the whole. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> you, you like it. Oh my gosh. That's funny. She really likes it. You like them? You like anything. You really do. You want some treats? You're She's like, there's it. no way. She not won't even, even open the it. mouth. Ophelia, you did a number on yourself out in the field. She she does like them. Oh, that was my creation, Miss Canada. You like that? Oh, <laughs> Watch her she looks like head. scared about eating it. <laughs> you like yes. it? Yeah, she was clear. Miss Canada approved. She seems kind of eager. Um, we'll give her one that has a peppermint tree on it. Oh, oh wow. Oh. She's feeling some type of way. Did you like it? Oh, it's so ungraceful. <laughs> oh. What do you think, Maya? Do you want some more? Are you interested? Oh. Okay, approved. Loki, you want to try? I'll feature you in the video. Oh, you I'm are so you are. gross. He eats everything. He's oh, everything. yeah. I basically want to feature him just for Julia. Oh. Oh, good boy. Considering he eats like bridles, saddles, <laughs> stall, anything. Lead ropes. That's he chews on everything and anything. Oh. Good job. Yeah. Good boy. Savannah. Okay. Ready? Oh, she's so excited. She is. Oh. Oh. She will literally like swallow Stop. the whole thing. Stop. She's like, I'm not dropping it. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, wow. 
This is all the treats that they get for the next like two weeks. Oh my gosh. That's Merry it. Christmas pony. It's enough for a year. <laughs> well, happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Clearly, most of the horses did not like our cookies. Savannah. The ones who did really liked it. Savannah's our biggest fan apparently. Stop trying to read my hand. I don't have any more cookies for you. So I hope you guys <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, clearly only Savannah liked our Christmas presents for the ponies this year. So Brona and I are definitely going to be giving the gingerbread house a try again next year and next year we're gonna be a little bit more prepared. <laughs> If you guys liked today's video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. Leave your thoughts and comments down below as well as turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. See you later. Happy holidays!